before I go anywhere in this thing. That's much better. Something that's extremely underestimated and in my opinion extremely underdone in the car world is brakes. Brakes are a very important mod to your car, especially once you start making your car go fast. Brakes are huge. Like if you don't have good brakes, <laughs> you're not gonna slow down, period. But it's not cool. It's not it's not flashy, it's not doesn't make your car sound better. So no one really does it. In the car scene, unless you're like a race car and you actually drive your car hard, no one gets brakes. But I feel like that should change. If you guys agree, give this give this video a big fat thumbs up if you guys agree that brakes and like upgrading your brakes and having stopping power is way underdone. In sum, today we're gonna put rear disc brakes on the Civic, because right now it has drums. We're gonna go pick them up. They are free, baby. Well, most of the time I say free, I end up paying something, but the plan is for them to be free. Are you, you got touch the steering wheel to do that? Probably. <laughs> gloves are for? I don't care, man. Mold that thick, I'll go right through your gloves. Ew. So this Integra is gonna donate us the rear brakes. Connor, this is Connor from BC Honda Owners Club and also from Van City Import and Domestic. That's his ass. And for some reason or another, they have this rotting molding car <laughs> sitting here. But the rear brakes are disc brakes and we have drums in the back of the Civic. So we're just gonna literally rip these guys out. Then we're gonna throw them on the hatch. Just jam it on there, just jam it on there. How long has it been since this thing ran? Uh, eight months. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's healthy. This sounds more like a Tesla to me. Hey! B18? B18? <laughs> that was all mold! Alright, break time. I'm just like doing the classic. I have an idea. I know I need to get it all apart. I'm just doing my best to get it apart. I think I did too much. I might have taken too much apart. I don't think we need to take all this apart, but that's okay. I need to just get these off so I can put these on the Civic so that they have somewhere to, like the caliber has somewhere to bolt to. Cause right now we have the drums and I don't think that it has this, whatever this plate is. These in here are like T50s and the only thing we have is a T45. That's like the biggest it goes. And the T45 is just gonna strip these bolts. I'm just gonna take the whole trailing arm home. I know for a fact I have T50s at home, so instead of trying to risk it and strip stuff and just try and do what I can here, I'm just gonna save it, make a little bit more work for me at home, but I'm just gonna take all this stuff home, just deal with it there, I guess. So I took this entire trailing arm off this side, that way I can just go home and mess with it because I kind of wanted to get it done. Like It's like starting to rain and it's kind of getting cold and I kind of just, I don't have the Torx bits and I was like, why would I take this all apart right here? I could just get it home and take it apart there in the warm garage before it starts raining. So that's all apart. We also took the brake lines out. We took the entire e-brake line out from right here from the equalizer. We just pulled them straight out. Look at this exhaust pipe. This is like a friggin' rat game. I literally feel like animals just like play in there for fun. That is custy. There's a B18 in this Integra right here. There's a B18, it's a B1, so it's non-VTEC. And there's also a B20 inside that we were talking about maybe buying for the Civ. So comment what you guys think. We picked up rotors for the back. We got brake pads as well, some blue paint so we can paint the calipers. So my brake lines will come to the back, but then I don't have the connection from like the hard line to the caliper. So what I did was I ordered one from like a Civic Si or something like that from Lordco. So that should be here very soon. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bolt everything up. When I was talking to one of the guys that knows stuff about Civics. Bullshit. Oh, dark. 
Jordan. Yeah, it was Jordan. <laughs> Bullshit my ass. One of the things he said is that it's almost impossible to get those T45s off the back of these trailing arms, or T50s, sorry. So he said what would be easier is to just drop the whole trailing arm right out of the Civic and bolt that trailing arm right back up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all the brakes on tonight, we're gonna get it all finished up, we're gonna get it all buttoned up, and the rear brakes are gonna be swapped without the line so they don't actually work yet. And as long as they work, once we have confirmation, then I'll paint them like tomorrow. So I just don't wanna spend like my night painting brake calipers and stuff and then they don't fit. And I don't think Emerson wants to do that tonight either. Like right here on the Integra, this line comes up and then goes down, and then this line plugs right into the brakes, but I didn't take that line from the Integra because on this car it's different. On the drum, it turns back into a hard line. The hard line goes back right here because that's just the way it is on a drum. That's the part that I'm going to be waiting on. And then I bought new pads and rotors. It cost me like 100 bucks for the rotors and pads for the Acura setup, so all in all, it's like a $100 mod, and to go from discs, <laughs> from what? Why are you laughing at me? Are we getting new rotors also? Might as well. We already did. Did you not listen to me explain it? This is, I, I always say this, I never knew why people loved Honda so much and I started working on this thing and like I fully understand like the amount of stuff you can just like I ripped this off of an Acura and I can just pulled it right up to here and it's the exact same and yes I said pulled but I meant to say bolt where do these go away where's the grommets I don't know what's going on dad Help me! Dad! <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just like wiping this toolbox down. And just, I know, stop shining your tools, Dad! Help me! I don't understand. Pull the back seats out and pull the carpet this way. Pull the back seats out? What? What do you want me to say? I don't know, that's a lot of work. Emerson and his genius mind, I pulled the seat, lifted the carpet. The little things are right there. It's hard to see in the car, it's really dark. The little grommets are right there. So I undid the e brake cables. I'm gonna shove them through the floor. I just gotta go. I gotta get out of here, I'm sweating. I feel like watching this, this looks like a really hard mod, but like it's not really that hard. This is actually like a really easy, especially for what you're getting out of it, it's really easy to do. The e-brake cables are the hardest part. They were the hardest part when I was trying to get out of the Acura and they're the hardest part right now. And what I'm doing is I drop that whole piece of exhaust. That way I have full access to like, there's like this plate, and a bunch of stuff up here that it all tucks behind. Okay. The muffler hanger just broke. Dude, what? the muffler hanger just broke. The weld just came right off. There's the OEM one from the Civ with the drum brake. Successfully took it out. Look at that I piece of cheap wish tin. I thought it was the weld. I thought the guy who welded it just did it. Really bad job, but looks like. Ta da! And that's what you get when you buy your muffler on Wish. So if I shine a light in here, yeah, light comes up there. <laughs> wish parts, bro. This exhaust has been the worst wish part we've ever had. So now I need a new exhaust, I guess, a new muffler, because that hanger just rotted right off. Here we go. And that muffler's toast. And at the exact same time that that happened, Emerson started stripping the brake line I bolts. I didn't start stripping, dirtying. Well, I, it was already stripping, whatever the case is. It's stripped. <laughs> as soon as I break that, this is out, I get happy, All right, I'm going that breaks, and then this starts stripping. Man, come on, man. What are we doing? What are we doing, man? We got so close. See you later. Super cool that we got it in. I think I have it towed in way too far. If you look at this boy, it's like, mm, I think it's sick how easy that is to just go rip disc brakes off an Integra and now I have discs front and rear. Like that's a, that is a totally worthwhile mod. But this side is fully apart. I'm just gonna leave it that way till tomorrow. So basically the reason I'm, I'm done here is because all this stuff, I, I have new brakes, um, pads and rotors. I need to paint the calipers. So I'm not gonna put any of it back on because I'm gonna take it all back off like maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Huge shout out to the guys at BC Honda Owners Club for hooking me up with this. It's like, it's, it's not fully done. It's like half done. This is just what you get for buying shit on Wish. There's a lot of stuff that's happening right now and it's like the pivotal moment of, of what we're doing with the Civic and I'm honestly thinking, if you guys are still here right now, comment mashed potatoes because why would you comment that if you weren't here right now? Comment mashed potatoes if you guys are still here. Um, I'm gonna give you guys this two seconds of just what my plans are and then I'm gonna leave. It doesn't impress me to spend money. You can't impress me with followers or money or your Ferrari. Like I don't care what, what I like to do 
is have fun and not waste my money doing the, what I'm having fun doing. So, like if I can get this rear disc brake conversion for free, obviously I'm gonna do it for free rather than pay for the kit. And I'm always gonna be that way. But what I think is gonna happen is the budget build is over. It is no longer the wish built car. However, that doesn't mean I'm just gonna start spending millions of dollars on this car. I, I know you guys understand what I'm saying. I'm never gonna be that like rich snobby guy. That just will never be me. It doesn't impress me. I want my channel to be less about the budget and it's more about relatability. It's not always about the cheapest thing, but it's about like doing something properly and not having to spend a million dollars. So. Do it yourself. The, the, like that was hella easy to do today. It took a lot of time, but it was super, super easy. And I did it all myself and it's totally worth it. And I had no idea. This morning, I had never taken apart rear brakes, ever. That's my plans for the sieve. It, there's too much going wrong with it. The motor isn't happy. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just one of those things that like I notice, but nobody else notices. But like, cause I drive it every day, I'm starting to notice something weird. So the motor's not happy. This exhaust just died, just upgraded to, to to rear discs. We just took the dip off so that we can fix the cracked fenders. It's at the point of, I don't wanna redo this thing a budget. I wanna make this thing a, a really, really sick car. So I'll probably make a video like explaining it more in depth when I'm not super tired. I love you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and stay committed.